She's this overachiever who's constantly moving, constantly pushing herself harder and harder and harder. And oftentimes the reason why she's pushing so hard or refusing to slow down is because she's afraid of what will happen when she stops and everything catches up to her. Or she's afraid that if she's not beyond perfect, not just perfect, but beyond perfect, then she won't be loved or accepted or respected by the people around her. It addresses themes that are really pertinent to, I think, everybody in a way that's really nuanced. Um, those themes being feelings of isolation, of feeling like you don't know where you belong, of dealing with the awkwardness of discovering self and the anxiety of interfacing and engaging with other humans in the world. Um, and, it, and it does it in a way that's really complicated and beautifully layered and ultimately really hopeful and inspiring. And I think that's what the power of, of the stage production has been, is making people feel so much less alone, making them know that that, that, that they're not weird or something's not wrong with them if they have those feelings, but that that's something that's really common and it's normal. And oftentimes people are not able to see outside of those feelings while they're inside of them. And you kind of just need one person to reach out to you, to tell you that it's gonna be okay, to reflect your experience back at you in order to kind of like get out of that headspace. Social media, definitely plays a really integral role in the story. It's almost like another character. And I feel like that's reflective of how life is, how the world is right now. Um, I feel like there's really no way to address um, the teenage experience and, well, not even just teenage experience, but there's no way to address the themes of loneliness or self-worth or um, sense of self or identity without factoring in social media and the way it like inflates and deflates us. Um, and I think the story does it in a way that's very truthful and real. Ben has been playing this character for a long time <laughs> and playing it so beautifully and I think the reason why that is, is because he carries such a tenderness in the character and he has such a, you could tell he has such an empathy and understanding of the character that, that makes it um, so easy to emotionally connect to him. Like even just seeing him like walk from one point to another as this character, you just like want to go up to him and hug him, like tell him it's going to be okay. And I think because he's coming from a place of really understanding these char this character's pain um, and vulnerabilities and, and sweetness and softness, um, it, it just makes him so damn lovable. <laughs>